Welcome back everyone. Common Spirit Health, the parent company of St. Luke's Health, has finally come out and said they are in fact facing a ransomware attack. Their systems, operated at over 100 of their hospitals across the country, have been offline for over a week now. Brittany Ford took a closer look at how this is affecting patient information and patient care. St. Luke's Health has had all of its computer systems offline since last week and what has been confirmed to be a ransomware attack. It's a mess. Chris Bronk is a professor at U of H's Hobby School of Public Affairs. And so the question has to be for St. Luke's, do you pay the ransom? Did they try paying the ransom already? Common Spirit Health parent company of St. Luke's Health sent a statement Wednesday saying they are following proper protocols to mitigate the disruption and maintain continuity of care. Especially with your electronic health record, uh, your doctor or other provider doesn't see what meds you're on. Uh, they don't see any of your prior history. KHOU 11 has received multiple emails highlighting concerns on how the issue is causing serious delays in patient care. Most recently, someone who claims to be a doctor telling patients in a Reddit post to avoid the hospital altogether, writing the hospital is in survival mode, operating below the standard of care. In your experience, I mean, patient information could potentially be crypto and locked up as a result of this. Right, and never come back. We've asked both St. Luke's and Common Spirit Health how this is affecting patient information and were directed to previous statements released. Um, what usually happens is the hackers also steal data that they feel they can sell. Looking ahead, Bronx says. This is a many, many million dollar problem potentially. Brittany Ford, KHOU 11 News.